Hey guys, welcome back. I am Brad M73 and we are playing Farming Simulator 2013. Um, let's see, where did we leave off last time? Okay, um, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so I think in the last episode we had a major computer problem. Um, actually, I don't know really what happened, but um, I was trying to play around with some mods and everything that I had got wiped out. Um, all, everything except the grain that I had in the silos. <clears throat> Um, I lost all my all my vehicles, all my tippers, all my harvesters, everything, and um, so I pretty much had to start completely over. Except I had a bunch of money, well, not a bunch, but I had to kind of um, accelerate time and uh, you know use my uh, you know resources. Uh, as best I could to like build up some money. So we're finally kind of starting to get get things going again um, So if you haven't seen the great disaster uh, that occurred um, You might want to check that out on the uh, last episode. So still not very happy about it, but um, <clears throat> you know I guess it could have been worse, though, you know, I could have lost all my fields and all the grain. Because if I had lost all the grain, I would have been screwed. I would have just had to, to just completely start it over. Um, so in the meantime, um, as you can see, I just put the, the nice big cedar away. We've planted a ton of canola. Um, I've planted these two fields up here. Um, I've got missions on right now. Yeah, I've, uh, my two fields up here I planted in canola. And then um, field number one, which is like the really big, huge field, um, I also planted in canola. And um, we'll just have to wait around until the morning uh, to do the harvest. So, um, I just wanted to come over here because we're going to take a look at the fields that um, we need to harvest. Um, now the downside is I don't have a harvester. I've only got three, three hundred and forty thousand um, dollars, which isn't going to be enough. Is not going to be enough to buy the Klaus Lexion or the um, the high-end Dutzfar. Yeah, we've got field number one over there. We've got this field, which is like I think two or three. Now I think field four, you probably won't be able to see it, but it's off in the distance there. So, um, yeah, one, three, and four, and then 15, 16, and 14. So those are the fields. Um, so we're going to need to purchase a, a harvester, and we're going to do that. So, whoops. See if there's any sales going on right now. Oh, there are. Bergman trailer. That's a not a bad deal. Okay, so sorted by machine types, tractors, front loaders, and harvesters. So, um, yeah, I kind of would like to get this one, but we're gonna be at let's see, 157,000 or 357,000. Which I guess we could, we actually we could still buy that one. Um, though I thought about buying one of these guys since I haven't gotten one one of those before, except for in um, multiplayer. Um, it's a little less powerful than this one. Let's see, yeah, it's three three hundred sixty six horsepower to four hundred fifty. Um, it's got eighty five hundred storage capacity in, the, in its tank grain tank this one's got 9,000 um, and then this one can only do uh, har uh, wheat barley or canola where this where the um, 7545 can do um, wheat 
barley, canola, and you can also get the corn cutter for it. So I don't know if the corn cutter works on this one or not. I don't know. Um, so I'm kind of going back and forth. I think I'm going to cheapen out and just buy this one. So let's go ahead and do that. And yes, I'm going to... Oops. I'm going to do the mission because since we still have a little bit of time to wait for morning. Yes. I like to turn the, uh, the cutters on as soon as I get going. That way I don't forget. And I'll turn down to cruise control 2 now. And start cutting grass. And maybe by the time we are done cutting this, we can slow down time and um, we might actually be ready to, to harvest. I can only hope. All right, there's a little bit of extra money. And uh, let's see, I want to turn this on so I can see if we have any great demands, which we don't. And we don't have any, we don't have any loans, so that's good. Okay, so, oh, yep, there, that's ready. Okay. So our canola up here is ready to harvest. Actually, let's go ahead and get this guy started. This guy's kind of blocky. And the interior still looks fine. And there we go. So I'm thinking of just stockpiling all the canola that I need um, until we get a great demand. Um, that way we can really take advantage of it. Um, <clears throat> I'm making about 500 an hour uh, from my solar collectors, and I've got a, uh, bee, a beehive out here too that, um, that we'll see here in just a moment. Nope. Yep, there's our beehive there. So we're just going to go down here to the end of the field and uh, get the harvesting. Um, that's kind of a nice looking tractor. It's kind of black, boxy. Alright, so we'll hire our worker. And away we go. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna, um... Just going to connect this guy. There we go. I want to see something. No. Hmm. 
Okay, I was just wanting to see if changing the weight... I know that changing the weight does displace the weight and it makes it a lot easier for you to, um, you know, drive around and, uh, you know, with the trailer. But I was just trying to see if it had a visual effect on the back of the tractor. Which I didn't see one. Oh, thank God I have a decent harvester. I hate the red harvesters. I mean, yeah, I understand that's what you got to start out with, but holy moly. And all the other harvesters are so flippin' expensive. You have to use those cheesy little ones for a long time. Ugh. Got another mission here. We are going to have a lot of canola once we're done. Canola! Ka -ka -ka canola! Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, somebody posted a comment um, on one of my farming simulator blog, uh, videos, I think, saying, Don't sing! Don't sing ever again! I said, Why not? You guys don't like my singing voice? Oh well. Oh, come on. I was going to say... Um, so... I've kind of been thinking about where the heck I should go, you know, what I should do next. I'm, I don't know if I want to buy another harvester or... Oh, I just don't know what I want to do. Um, you know what kind of ticks me off about these harvesters is they waste a lot of... Look at that. There's like a fifth of that harvester that's not even harvesting anything so I'm going to line him up and then rehire a worker there we go that's better So, um, yeah, I'm trying to kind of think of what to do. Um, to make my money back as quickly as possible. I don't want to use any cheats. Like money cheats or anything like that. I, I don't care what game it is. I hate using money cheats. It just completely, entirely ruins the experience of the game for me. Um, I mean, typically, you know, what I would rather do is do like what I, I guess, do, I'm doing in this game, is, um, you know, you buy your different pieces of, uh, like your placeable uh, objects. How much does that have left? Eight hours. Hmm, I want to be able to get that. Um, <clears throat> hey, your placeable objects. Um, like your bee house um, or the solar collectors or even the wind farms and just you know run the game and fast forward uh, you know for a considerable period of time and just you know kind of sit back and collect the money um, I mean you, you can walk away from the computer or leave your computer on all night wake up the next day and you'll have some pocket money or a ton of money if you have the windmills um, I don't know if that's cheating or not. Uh, maybe it is. Is that cheating? Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, I would like to like to know your opinion on that. Um, but you know, it's the way the game was designed, and I'm playing within that spec. So I don't think it's cheating. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think that. Okay, now he's lined up a little bit better. So 
so my goal is to buy all of this canola and then I want to get a new harvest or a new cedar actually I need to get a new tractor a new cedar and a new harvester I don't know if all this canola will be enough to get me that or not let's see if all the canola is ready to harvest uh, yeah I guess it is Again, with not lining up. <laughs> there we go. And this field is already almost halfway done. Probably another pass, and it will be. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I am going to go off and I'm going to do the missions. I'm going to uh, harvest these two fields and then we'll drive down and um, get to harvesting on the next uh, batch of fields. So um, I will be back. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, let's see here. What have we been up to? Uh, it's a f actually a few days later, though I think it, this is still going to be a continuation of the same episode. Um, we have just gotten done, uh, it's actually, yeah, it's a few, like, actual real-life days later, not in-game days. Um, basically, whoa, I built a, a really big solar farm, well, not a really big solar farm, but I've got, like, I don't know, seven or eight solar panels, and they're generating money, and um, sold a ton of crops, done several large harvests. Um, actually, let's go to... the map view so yeah we've got one three four six seven and eight um one three four is canola 15 16 14 and 17 should all be canola and then six seven and eight are all corn and so um we're gonna accelerate time and then while i'm doing that i want to save my game <laughs> save my game save my game save my game Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I want to save the game. And uh, let's see. Okay, so anyway, time's accelerated. And the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to come and buy one of the mods, which is this this thing. Yep. Um, it holds 12,850... Um, grain or you know whatever you you know wheat barley or canola um, or corn and the cutting head is like not uh, 12 meters wide where I think the other ones are not as wide well I know they're not as wide <clears throat> but we're gonna go look for the um, six uh, 6095 it's 7.2 meters wide and for the 7545 this one says 7.2 meters wide, but it's actually wider than the 6095 cutter. So 7.2, so it's a lot wider, um, and the corn cutter's a lot wider too. So, whoops, nope, wrong one. So, yeah. So we want to go and buy one of those. Um, so we're going to buy that, and then we're going to buy the Vario 1200 head. Uh... Please buy it. I have a feeling my game is going to crash. Oh, there we go. 
And then we're going to buy this guy. And I'm going to be super pissed if <laughs> all my crap's deleted again. Okay. All right. Good deal. All right. So let's save the game again. Continue. Okay. So, all right. All my vehicles are there. All right. So here. Whoa. Check that. Ooh, it's even got an animated ladder. That was pretty cool. Wow, they did a really good job on this. Wow, look at that. Man, that's a huge one, too. Um, let's go inside. There's a seat for our jump, the jump seat driver. Got some indicators there. I wish I could read, but I cannot. And, uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what the little symbols, deactivierta, and uh, I think the bottom left, oh, that's the Hecta Acres, I think, maybe. HA is Hecta Acres. Um, I think the little time meter on the bottom left, like down here where I'm pointing the big pipe, actually. I'll try to I'll try to make this a little bit easier. Right, I'm gonna right at the end of the pipe, like these little numbers, like this hecta eight. This see how there's like a looks like a wheat or barley or something. Um, I don't know what that's for. Deactive year to um, sounds like it's German for deactivate. Uh, but I'm not sure. And uh, then this is probably like a Hobbs meter, like a, you know, it counts how much uh, how much time your vehicle has been running. So anyway, uh, that's pretty cool. So let's go up and get the head. And I don't even know if we're going to be able to make it down to the bottom because this is a really wide head. Ooh, ooh. Um. Uh, and we will be able to make it down here. Sorry, guy. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> that was my, that was my body being dismembered sound. Now, what you're actually supposed to do is you're supposed to take the, um... Uh, you're supposed to take the cutter down separately from the harvester. So there's like a trailer that you're supposed to actually take down. You're supposed to drop the cutter off and then you put the the cutter portion on the top of or you know on this little trailer and uh, and then you take that to your field that you're going to so that you don't you know bonk into cars because this is like a really gigantic cutter obviously and so if somebody's coming down the road it's you're gonna have a bad day class lexion So whoever did the uh, whoever did this um, mod, uh, I have to give you my congratulations. It's very very nice looking mod. Oh, I like it. Oh man, it's gonna rain. <laughs> this thing is like so wide. Wide load. Okay. See what our other vehicles are doing. All right, so he's up here. Okay, there's the Kloss Lexion way over on the other side of the field over there. So he's ready to go. There's our trailer. This is all canola. 
Um, let's see, where am I at? Okay. Oh, this is up by the farm. So there's our dudes far and our other dudes far over there. And then here uh, is our crone. We, you know, hadn't got enough money to buy the crone big X back. Dudes far, dudes far. Um, oh, we're back up by field number four, I think. Um, we got our feeder, though. We need to cut a lot of grass in order to get silage. But we got plenty of poop because I harvested some hay. And we actually have hay over here. There's a weight. So I've got this thing chock full of hay. I don't know if I'll be able to jump up here to show you guys. Nope lame so anyway this thing's chock full of hay for the cows to eat for right now so their milk production stink and okay we're back to back to square one wait a second oh here's the other got a couple new tractors um i got another 430 um i got a hurleyman because it was on sale that's actually a pretty good tractor. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, and this is the other... Oh, and this is the... Um, the front loader. You know, the forklift. <laughs> kind of thing. That's not really a forklift. Um... I think I'm going to keep this cedar, but I also my next goal is also to buy one of the another one of the big Amazon cedars, the really huge one, because um, those big fields like the one I just came from, it's really painful to see to see those because it does take a long time, especially with like this red guy. Now, if you got the, the the big Amazon cedar, it doesn't take nearly as long, but it still takes a long time. So. Um, I want to get a second one of those, which after this next harvest we shouldn't have any problems. And then I, obviously I want to get a couple more harvesters, kind of spread the harvesters around a little bit more. And here comes our Klaus Lexion. My frame rate's really dropping off. So we got a few more hours. We got about until 10 in the morning um, until the uh, the plants should be ready. Can't see where I'm going. Sure, pull out in front of me. Yeah, I think um, if if you guys haven't watched yet, um, check out my uh, multiplay with Mastermind909. Um, he is um, helping me with my Central Kansas field, and I definitely want to get some of the Klaus uh, Lexions for those because we, you know, it it's just it just takes forever to harvest anything, and and also to to seed anything there. So we did get the I think we did get the good seeder, but man, it still just takes forever to. Um, harvest because the fields are so big so and we only have like we well i think we only have like two big fields and it takes us forever um to do that so um anyway uh 
park this guy. Hmm, I don't know why my frame rate's so bad right now. What could it mean? Ooh, there's still some poop stuck in my in my uh, little scoop there, in my pooper scooper. Let's see here. Ah, see, what is up with that? That's uh, already grown. It's bizarre. That's weird, because I didn't start it off at like 3 in the morning. Um, okay, anyway, let's go back into this guy. I'm just gonna like race this guy back over to the cow area. Hmm, I don't know why my frame rate's so low. Usually it's up. I don't think the class Lexion has anything to do with it, though I guess it could. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's like hovering around 12 frames a second, which for me is terrible. I mean, usually I'm getting. Even running fra fraps, I'm usually getting like 20, 30 frames a second, so I don't know what that's all about. <clears throat> yeah, we need to get like a new cutter so that we can cut all this. To get um, grass for the uh, cows so that they have diarrhea <laughs> for the uh, slurry tanks. Um, Back up. All right. So we'll leave this guy here for now, and it's going to rain. Let's see how our fields are doing, actually. Okay, so we can slow. Well, we need to speed up time until after the rain. After the rain washes away the tears and all the pain. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What am I doing? Oh. Yeah, I know. You're all mad because I can't. Okay, you're fired. <clears throat> Ooh, barley. Let's see, 1.6. Hmm, that's not a bad price for barley. Yeah, 473. That's not bad. But I don't have a lot of barley anyway, so. Okay, you can stop raining now. Any moment, 
because I want to get my... Uh... Now, it seems like in this game, you know, you don't get a lot of, like, really long reins. They're more short reins. But they can still last for a couple hours. Like, usually, like, three or four hours. Hmm, I wonder if I can cut in this... In, what, in rain. Hmm. Let's try. Because then at least we could do something. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can do that. Alright. So this is basically what we're going to be doing. Um, we got all this corn, we got a chaff uh, for biogas, and um, <clears throat> once we get our biogas plant filled back up, I'm going to um, buy my windmill again. And then we should be fairly close, you know, with a side, uh, and aside from a few greenhouses and a few more tractors and stuff, we'll be finally getting fairly close to where we were before. Oh, cool. Okay, we'll get done. We'll get done with this uh, one run down through here, and then I'll go and get my other harvesters harvesting. So let me slow down time. Okay, so I'm going to get him going, I'm going to get him going, I'm going to get him going, and I'm going to get him going. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Level 35. So I don't know what the level 2 and all that stuff means. Um, there's not really a read me. Whoa, what the heck? Huh, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> oh, wait. Look at this. Look at that. We can actually watch the grain going up. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Except it's all dusty inside here. Okay, so let's go back over here. Come on. Okay, so we're farming, we're farming, we're farming. I'm going to take this first, um, first load of uh, chaff up to the, um, where the cows are. So I can get them chaffing, or you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I can get the silage going up there. And I also need to cut all that grass so that I can um, make, uh, you know, hay bales. Whoops. 
Yeah, my frame rate just keeps getting worse and worse. Look at that. Hey, it's all full. Oops. See how he's doing. See how he's doing. And we'll go back here. Now, I'm not sure exactly how much um, uh, how much chaff that uh, the silage pit up at uh, the cow the cow farm area is going to hold. I think it's a hundred thousand, but I don't know. It might be more than that. So I'm just going to take this one load up there. That should be plenty. Or I don't know, I might take two, who knows. Okay, he's at 46, he's at 66, he's at 61, and he's going to be at like 40, yep, okay, oops, all right. See how the class Lexion is doing. Okay, so yeah, so 70. So yeah, looking down at the bottom again, there's like that 0.8 HA, 0.81 HA. I guess that's how much, how many hecta acres you farmed. Kind of pointless, but whatever. Look at that, it's like spraying out the back. Oh, look at the boom, it's like, I'm ready to dump my load. He's ready to unload.
Well, I'm just going to fill this guy up and then I'm going to go down and check on the the Lexion. I kind of want to fill it all the way up just to see what happens when it gets completely full. <clears throat> I mean obviously it'll stop but I just want to see what what it looks like, like what the grain looks like keeping on top of it or whatever. He's going to be able to finish off the rest of that field. I'm still frustrated as to why my frame rate sucks, but. I hope that the Lexion doesn't have the the Klaus Lexion doesn't have anything to do with it. Um, that'll be a rather big disappointment if it does. Nine. Let's see. Is he stopped over there? Okay. Yeah, he is stopped. So we'll fill this guy up. I want to make sure that this guy is going to be okay. Good. Perfect. All right. All right. So there's our full. Uh, I don't really like that texture on the top. It's looks like there looks like it's a giant pancake. I mean, I guess there's like, let's see, what is it? Enable IC. Uh oh. Disable IC. Enable IC. Um. Hmm. I don't know what IC means, but. Oh. Left click button to open additional cams. No cam available. Oh, that's cool. Let's see, could not enable, not current fruit type doesn't support straw. Okay. Wheel. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. Okay, so we're gonna unload this, and then I think I'll uh, I think I'll finish the rest off screen. Uh, but I do want to see how the class Lexion is doing.
All right, so I just want to jump in this guy, see how... Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, that's neat. Turn on harvest for lower color and change tool selection. Hmm, okay. All right, so there we go. There it is, the Class Lexion. Oh, and I did want to check, as far as like the cameras. Yeah, what's this camera? I can't really tell which way it's going. looks like it's under here somewhere but I don't know all right so we'll get him out of the way and um, and I guess I'll just finish the rest of this off screen so anyway we bought our class Lexion and um, we're you know well on our way to getting the farm back up to where it was uh, previously before disaster struck. Okay, so he'll, he'll be almost done. So anyway, I'll let you guys go. Um, I am Brad M73. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please uh, like the videos and please give them a thumbs up. And also please subscribe um, for more. Uh, we're gonna keep going. Uh, on with uh, Farming Simulator for some time to come until we have bought all the fields and got all the cool stuff. I also want to um, make a goal for myself to get um, all of the tractors, like all the different tractors. Um, I want to get like one of each just to like have on display. So I'll probably be doing that and then he's going to crash any second now. Crunch. Yep. You're fired. And, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep playing this game. It's, it's a lot of fun and, um, having quite, uh, quite a nice time with it. And if you haven't done so, please check out the, uh, the multiplay series with me and Mastermind909 and be sure to subscribe to that because it's pretty funny. Um, and, uh, yeah. So guys, again, I'm Brad, I'm 73. We will see you in the next episode. Bye for now. I'm out.